Hey guys, it's Jackson here from Titanic Games, and today we're going to be continuing on in our RPG game tutorial series, and um, we're going to be uh, continuing with our inventory. So, um, there's a lot to cover, so let's get right to it. Um, first thing, I'm going to open up you know, our inventory, our UI inventory, and uh, I'm going to delete this tick because we don't need it, and I'm going to right click and create a custom event. Now I'm going to call this Create Inventory. All right, so we will call this on event construct. All right, we will create our inventory. Okay, and basically what this function is going to do is it's going to you know populate our inventory with all the item info and just all the stuff that we need. So uh, let's start. So the first thing we're going to do is we want to set our column position to zero. Then we want to set our row position to zero as well, and this just ensures that we are always starting at that first inventory slot. Um, next, we're going to cast to our ch main character, or my character. All right, and then as the object, we will get the player character. Okay. Now, as our character, um, or sorry, after after we after this cast returns true, we want to do a for loop. Um, and basically, in this loop, we are going to you know create all the all the inventory slots. So. Um, the first index here is going to be zero. The last index is going to be um, our inventory size minus one. So we will get our inventory size. Okay, and we'll say minus or not equals minus integer, and you know we'll just subtract one. And basically, um, what this does is, well, we have you know if we click our inventory size, we can see it's at 25. And um, since it's starting from zero, this will go from zero to 24, which is you know 25. So um, it'll create 25 inventory slots for us. All right. Next thing we're going to do is off of loop body, we are going to uh, say create widget, and we are going to create the UI underscore um, inventory item. Okay. And now um, once we've created it, we want to add it, you know, to this grid panel, this little really little spot here, or to our inventory panel. Uh, so we'll take our inventory panel, we'll get it, and we'll say add child, um, add child to uniform grid. Okay, so make sure you specify the uniform grid. Okay, and then we will take the return value, plug it in here. All right. So now, as now that it's a child of the uniform grid, we can um, access the values of its uniform grid kind of positioning. So uh, we'll take this return value and we'll say set horizontal alignment. We'll set that to fill. Um, we'll take it again and say set vertical alignment. Again, set it to fill. Um, then we'll say set column. Okay, and we'll set that in a second. Um, and lastly, we'll say uh, set yeah set row. Okay. So hook everything up. And now for the column, right? We're going to set it equal to our column position. So you can just drag that and hook it up. And then the row is going to be equal to our row position. Okay, so there we go. Um, that's this will be you know the f the script for adding it to our um, adding the child. So adding the inventory slot. So we'll actually collapse this to a function just to make it a little neater in our graph. So we'll right click, go to collapse to function, and I'm going to call this just add child. Um, oh, add child child widget. Looks like I already had it there. I'll just get rid of it. Um, add child. Yeah, let me change the name really quick to just add child. Okay. Um, so now we'll just you know kind of reorganize just to make it look nice. And there we go. It's all pretty imperfect. All right. Next, we'll go back to the event graph. And now that we've you know added the widget, um, now we need to kind of set the text and kind of the image of our inventory item. So if you recall over here, we have this inf item info. You know, in our inventory item, so we'll set, um, you know, we'll kind of set the the look of our item based on that info. Okay, so we'll go to the UI inventory, and um, we're going to drag off of my character. We're going to say get inventory. So we'll get this array, and from the array, we want to say get, and this asks for an index. So we'll get the first index, All right? So this is going to get the inventory. Uh, item info from our first index. Okay, so um, from here we'll right click and we'll split the struct pin. 
uh, because we want to be able to access these different values here. Um, now from the item widget we'll drag off and we'll say get item text. Okay, so we'll get this text here and then from the text we will say set text and we want to set text of text. Okay, so not these other two. So it should look like this and basically we're just going to set it equal to the item name. Alright, so we can you know hook that up. Now the next thing we want to do is again off of this return value we'll say get item button this time. Alright. And then with the item button we are going to set its style. So we'll set the appearance of you know our button. Okay, so we'll hook this up. Now for the in style, we want to make a button style. So we can click this drop down and it'll show all the different uh, variables um, that you can set. Um, for for right now, we're going to uncheck the sound um, and the disabled. Okay, so it should just have normal hovered, pressed, and normal padding. All right. Now we'll create a little more space here. Um, now off of normal, we are going to make a slate brush, and we're going to use normal um, for the same as pressed. So we'll connect these. And now again, we can go over here under the pin options, and we'll uncheck margin tint tiling and mirroring. Uh, so we should have the image, image size, and draw as. Okay, so for image size, let's set this to 100 by 100. Make sure you draw it as an image. And now the actual image will be this item image. So plug that in. Now next we can uh, control W to duplicate this, and we'll plug it into Hovered. Um, and again, hook this up. Uh, the only difference here is that we're going to add the tint this time. So check that again. And then uh, it should show up right here. Okay, so we can drag off of here now and say make slate color. Um, so we're going to add kind of a you know an overlapping color to uh, um, kind of you know let the player know that they're hovering over that item. So um, I'm going to add make it kind of a, just like a dark a dark gray color maybe, um, and I'll set it make it translucent. So I'll say 0.5. All right, there we go. And now for the padding. We'll drag off and say make margin, and we'll just do zero zero for both. Okay, so we'll just compile and save. So we can actually collapse all of this to a function as well. Um, so we'll just select all of this stuff here, um, and again right click and say uh, collapse to function. So it's going to take in a lot of pins here, so we'll fix that up. Um, but we'll just call this like set. Um, button style or we'll just we'll call it set widget style there we go all right so there's that um, let's open it up and you can see it's it's a pretty bad mess right now um, but, you know we'll just reorganize a little bit um, this self it's the same thing so we'll plug that in and just get rid of this pin so we can delete that all right and now for self we'll just call it um, just inventory item I guess it doesn't really matter um, and there we go so that should be nice uh, if we go back to our event graph now it should look something like this okay it's a lot cleaner um, all right so now the last thing that we need to do or at least second to last thing is um, we are going to again drag off of this and say get we're gonna get its index okay and with and we're gonna use the info from that index to set the value of you know this item info so we'll drag off of our inventory item widget again and say set item info and we'll set it equal to this right from the get okay so hook that up alright it's not super pretty I realize so my apologies um, but anyways there we go now the very last thing we need to do is we need to um, increase the position right because if we don't change the the position of our columns and rows, it's just going to keep placing them all in the same spot and we don't want that. So what we'll do is um, we'll drag off and we'll say increment, uh, increment int, and the int to increment will be column position first, okay, because that's like moving along that way um, from left to right. All right. And now after that we want to do a branch and we want to check if this is greater than or equal to um, our row length. Okay. Oops. So basically, if our column position has reached the end of the row, 
then um, then we'll need to tell it to you know start over, start over at the next row. Um, so to do that, we'll drag off here and we'll say set uh, column position. We'll set it back to zero, and then we will simply increment our row. Okay, so we'll increment the row position. All right, and so um, you know what that's doing then is just a quick recap. It's basically going to you know every every widget that gets added, it's going to add it to the next um, next row in the line or next column in, down the line, and then once it gets greater than our row length, which is five it will you know kind of start over and then keep going you know and then start over and keep going okay so we can actually uh, collapse this to a function as well just to make it you know cleaner again so um, I'm gonna call this just increment uh, position okay there we go so there we go we got a nice nice ish looking uh, graph All right, and again this is being called on event construct okay so um, the last thing we'll do for this video is we'll go back to our UI inventory um, item, okay, and um, we'll get rid of both of these. Um, and instead, we're going to click on the item button and we're going to add a on clicked event. All right, so it should have showed up like this. And now, when we click it, we want to cast to our uh, ch, you know, my character as our, you know, as the get player character. Oops, there we go. Alright, so now as our character, we're going to drag off and we're going to call the use uh, item message. Alright, and that's from our, you know, our interact interface. Okay, so we'll call that. Um, we haven't, you know, set up the uh, event for this yet in the character, uh, but we will in the next video. Um, and then, you know, it's asking for item info, so we'll pass through our item info. Alright. And now next what we need to do is we want to um, take our character and get his inventory. Okay, and we are going to say uh, remove. So we're going to remove item um, and we're going to remove this item info from the inventory. Okay, because it's no longer going to be in our inventory after we use it. Or at least it won't, it, it shouldn't be, at least not the way we're going to do things. Um, all right, so after we've done that, now we need to kind of uh, reset our inventory right because it's going to be taking one out so we need to kind of you know update our inventory you know UI in here to reflect the changes um, so to do that we'll drag off of our character and we're going to get the inventory reference all right and this you know if you don't recall um, just really quick this gets created once we create the inventory all right so basically this variable is only going to be available if the inventory is open, um, and that's okay for for the for our purposes here. All right, so we're going to get that um, we're going to get this widget, okay, and then we're going to get the inventory panel from it, and we're going to wipe everything uh, out of it. So we're going to say clear children, okay. Now after we've cleared all of the children from it, we are going to recreate the inventory. So we'll say create inventory, you know, dragging off of that inventory reference again. And just, you know, to solidify, this is, you know, referencing our UI inventory here. So, you know, here's the create inventory event. Um, okay, perfect. And then the last thing, um, we just simply need to remove uh, from parent. Okay, so that'll remove ourselves from the parent, and then everything should be good to go. Okay, so compile and save. And now in the next tutorial, um, or in the next video, rather, uh, we'll actually look at, you know, interacting with some items on the ground and, um, you know, adding them to our inventory. So uh, thanks for watching, guys, and I'll see you in the next one.